the thing about doing these MRAP sets quite regularly is that it completely belittles all other training sessions. Nothing is as difficult as that. And so when you rock up to a training session and you know you're not going to have to work that hard, you just have a 70% squat for a set of five and then you do some fluff after afterwards just you know for the sake of joint mobility and recovery and whatnot it's just a walk in the park uh, i historically speaking have never been like this i've always thought to myself i'm going to come in every day and do the best i can every day best i can every day means you're never going to be the absolute best you could be so you're always kind of operating in this state where you're not 100 percent but you're there and you're giving your best effort now the mentality is every day i'm going to come in and i'm going to do a little bit of movement and then recover for the two sessions a week where i go absolutely mental with the mrap set so it's almost like uh you're just going through the the, 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 the motions. Um, you're just going through the pace. And yeah, you get through it. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm enjoying just going and just cruising. Because, yeah, you know, two of three of these sessions are just cruising sessions. That's how I look at them. Um, it's a nice mental break. It's a nice physical break. Uh and it's nice for once to go to the gym and not having to work my absolute hardest. That's kind of cool. Uh, the basis for the squat every day has always been come in every day, do the best you can. Uh, which was fine for a while. Uh, but I think the other way is better. Still have a high frequency of training. That's what I love. That's what attracts me to training. That's the whole basis of my philosophy of training. Train as much as you can. If you can't every day, whatever, just increase your frequency. Have that physical activity, but then have one or two sessions a week where you absolutely send it. You absolutely go to war. And then you go cruising again. And if you look at other fields of athletic performance, if you look at marathon runners, if you look at what Kipchoge uh, the runner from Africa says about his training, you know, 80% of it, he's cruising. 80% of his runs are just what's called lazy runs. You're running, but you're not really training hard. You're just running for the sake of running. You can talk to your colleague, to your partner who's running the group with you. You can run and talk at the same time. That's cruising. That's not training hard. Kind of like my session today. So two thirds of my training sessions right now are kind of cruising uh, and one third is going hard, which is the three day split that I'm doing. So I'm not too far away from the runner's idea of training. Pretty cool, huh? Appreciate you guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.